Hey there guys and welcome back to Super Awad again no cutscene. They are really getting lazy. Anyways, welcome back to Smash Brothers Brawl in the last part. Falco joined Fox and Diddy Kong to search for Donkey Kong after Fox got in trouble. Because you know Falco or uh, Fox is always saving Falco in Star Fox 64, so Falco decided to return the favor for once. Now if only Slippy would do that sometime. Anyway, Zero Suit Samus is bashing up Robs with a baseball bat. Yeah, you don't see that every day. Ah, great, it's more of those guys, except these use ice. Yeah, there's three variations to that enemy. One that shoots out sparks, one shoots out fire, and one shoots out ice. Oh, giant primate. Or big primate. Whatever. Big, giant, it's all the same. Die. Now, this stage is dark. Although, pretty much only the background is. You just hit these switches to illuminate the room and move some platforms around. But then you need to wait for it to go dark again before the things move back and you can move on. Sometimes. Also, this does make it kind of difficult to like, see bottomless pits and stuff that would kill you. But oh well. Down the ladder! That's a long ass ladder, it doesn't even... Oh, door. Is this the one we need to... No, it's a treasure room. Hey, how convenient. A trophy of Samus's gunship. You don't really get that too often. Like, you're playing as a character and you're actually picking up a trophy that depicts something that belongs to that character. Alright. Ooh, backflip. Nice. I like Zero Suit Samus. One of my favorite playable characters. Simply because she's fast, great range. Pretty much all she could use is like a really good projectile move, because she does have one, but all it does is stun opponents and doesn't really knock them away that much. Whoa. How the hell did that shell backfire on me? Weird. Ah, damn it. Freaking Koopa shells, I hate him. Ooh, I love how her boobs, like, come out, uh, come out of behind the wall before her head does. Awesome. And look, it's her power suit. Yeah, that can be good. And that is not good either. No, that is not Dark Samus. It's just evil copies, you know, like Diddy Kong and Bowser and Zelda. And there's two of them. Great. Now this fight can actually be pretty challenging. Because Samus, like in her suit, is a pretty good character. Strong, pretty heavy, great ranged arsenal. And there's two of them, whereas there's only one of me. I mean, this is easier in co-op, but I don't have anyone to play co-op with, so... Yeah, I'm all alone on this one. Come on. If you can kind of keep them separated, you have... Whoa! Okay. That's Zero Suit Samus' down aerial. She shoots down like a bullet. It's pretty strong, but you can easily get yourself killed by doing something like that. I mean, I could have sworn I was still on the edge. Like on, or on the platform, but no. Oh, a gooey bomb. Crap. Well, that didn't go... Ah, uh, did you really have to throw that bomb there? That was a smart bomb, you know, from the Star Fox games. You know, the bombs that the R-Wing shoots? Yeah. Those are... In this game, you can throw them. And they have a pretty damn huge... Ah, crap. Well, it would be hilarious if I KO'd this Samus while I was tiny. Go, mini chew. Nah, crap, I'm big again. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, we win. After that kind of bad Zero Suit Samus fail suicide. I mean, that was really bad. Ooh, shiny. Oh, crap. Hey, it's an army of robs, but not anymore. Because Samus has her suit on. She did that pretty fast. So now it's out with Zero Suit Samus, in with Power Suit Samus. Alright, let's pick Samus, because that's also one of my favorite characters to play as. Because she's just so good. Alright, get out of here, robs. No one likes you. Shoot him with the laser. Although I do think her laser... Well, it's not so much your laser that's been nerfed. 
So we're gonna reach everything. I mean, Samus was so great in Melee, and... I don't know, in Brawl, she just... They took away so many of her good things. Like, her rockets are really weak now. Her laser shot is... It doesn't have as much of an impact as it used to have in Melee. Her neutral aerial move is made a lot weaker, which, in my opinion, was one of her most useful moves. They just ruined her. I mean, I pretty much played as Samus all the time in Melee, and I hardly use her at all in Brawl. Because they just ruined her, kind of. I'm, like, sticking with, uh... I mainly use Snake, Meta Knight... Some others... Crap, I just spoiled Snake, didn't I? Oh well, screw it. Okay, go Pikachu! Because uh, things didn't really go that well there with Samus, so we'll just stick with Pikachu. Because it's Pikachu and he can do anything. I mean, pretty sure Pikachu is, like Mario, one of the most recognizable video game characters in the world. Like, if you walk up to a random stranger in the street and you show him a picture of Pikachu, chances are they are going to say, Hey, I know him, that's Pikachu. Same thing with Mario, probably. Uh, Link, I don't think as much. Neither Kirby or Samus are well known enough with non-gamers to be recognized, I guess. I'm guessing pretty much only Mario and Pikachu. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, Bowser or Luigi. Maybe Meowth, Jigglypuff. I think people might recognize those if they have like no knowledge of gaming whatsoever. But any other gaming character, not so much. Maybe Sonic. Although that's me, probably a really gamble at long odds, because let's face it, Sonic is, I don't know, at like 10% of his relevance compared to like 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Sonic is way past his prime. Let's put it at that. And yeah, I can't really remember for the life of me how I had to do this part because you had to hop on these things and they take you places. But you'd have to ride a specific one and I don't really know which one that was. Was it this one? And then this one, and this one takes you up here, it's such a, then we'll get on this one, oh now I remember, and then this one, and this one takes you to the door, yeah, there it is, be sure to get off on time though, because otherwise you're gonna be dragged off screen and you will die, yes I tried to impersonate Zelda CDI Ganon there, but I probably did a lousy Oh, come on. I seriously hate those guys. And this part is kind of a teleporter maze. You know, pick the right teleporter. Kind of like in uh, Sylph Company in Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow. And by that matter, also Fire Red and Leaf <coughs> Green. Excuse me, just had dinner, drank a crap load of Coca-Cola because that is such good stuff. And I'm about to have a crap load of pie as well, because my mom's birthday is today. She's turning 48. God, that's old. And I'm not gonna jump over there, just wait for the platform. Screw you, Rob. Uh, no, I think we need to take that one. Hit, yeah, hit that switch, takes down the wall, so we can get to the door. Yeah, it's a pretty short teleporter maze. And what's in here? Oh, it's a shortcut. Yeah, I remember, a shortcut to back to this room. Even though it doesn't really matter much, but still. And, ooh, two heart containers. Why would they give you two heart containers just like that? Hmm. This kind of reminds me of the Death Star for some reason. So, uh, holy crap! Well, didn't see that coming. It's Samus's arch nemesis, Ridley. The flying space dragon, who she fights in pretty much every Metroid game. I mean, I think the only games he hasn't been in are Metroid 2 Return of Samus and Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, it's a... and Metroid Prime Hunters. 
He's been in every other Metroid game. I mean, people always say, Oh, Ridley's just a goon. Mother Brain is like the real arch-nemesis of Samus. But Mother Brain only appeared in like, what, three games? So Mother Brain is not Samus's main enemy. Ridley is. And... Of course they had to have Ridley as a boss fight in this game. I mean, if they were gonna put a Metroid boss in to this story, who else would it... Ah, crap. Messed up again. Oh well, maybe Pikachu could, uh... do the trick. I mean, Ridley does look like he would be a flying type after all. So he would be weak to electric moves. But he would also probably be a dragon type if you were a Pokemon. So that would kind of neutralize the weakness to electric moves, so... Pikachu wouldn't really have the advantage, but he'd still be able to hit Ridley fairly hard. I mean, Ridley does look like he would make a badass Pokemon. I mean, he's much cooler than frickin' Garchomp, or Dragonite, or Salamence. Alright, anyway, Ridley is far from a difficult boss. In fact... Well... He's not that hard, simply. That move can be pretty lethal, especially if you have high damage. It's kind of hard to dodge, but the rest is pretty easy. And down he goes. In flames. Yeah, Ridley. Not even in Brawl can you beat Samus. And hey, look, we're outside again. But I do wonder, what are they going to do now, now that Samus has her power suit back? Hmm... I guess they're gonna go investigate that factory. Swell. Alright, stage clear. Gunship, hothead, bunch of stickers. And I will see you guys in the next part of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Thanks for watching.